I would like to know if God made passion fruit and what, what, what's, what is wrong with the mustard seed? Very good. The question from the lady is that ask if God made passion fruit. Well, the answer is no. God did not make passion fruit. We have on the board here, pH. Uh, pH is an abbreviation for hydrogen ion concentration. Many of us in the audience may not know what it means, pH. You know the pH value of a thing. You buy your hair conditioner, talk about pH, but you never really know what it is. Well, pH is only a measure used to determine whether a substance is either acid, acid or alkali. Now, when she asked about passion fruit, many of us doesn't know that passion fruit is like a mule, it's like a horse. Passion fruit is like rice or beans. They are hybrids. They were made by cross-pollinating or cross-breeding. A horse and a jackass makes a mule. But then, the mule, the, the jackass, and the horse already were hybrids. They are natural. They're some unnatural beasts. You see, when you talk about animals and plants, uh, any plant that is grown in a farm, oh, that's a farm bread. That's a natural farm bread. An apple, a pear, a plum. But when you talk about sea grape, that's a wild fruit. When you talk about a dog, oh, a, a dog is a nice animal. You know, he brings all kind of disease in your house, but that's okay. He's a, he's a nice animal. A lion, that's a wild animal. Everything that God made is wild. Why can it be natural? Why can the word natural be used instead of wild? <laughs> so we go over here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. If a substance, if a substance is one in acidity, and you take it, you will die within minutes. If it's two, you, you may live hours or, or months. But if it's three, you will live a little bit longer, but you're going to die quick, surely. But garlic, garlic that you put in your food is 3.3 .3. you could do the research now here you're using a substance that they tell you is good but garlic is 3.3 .3. passion fruit at least is four see passion fruit Now you see, when I take all this away from you, what you gonna eat now? Ah, that is what they did to us. They took us away from Africa, but they didn't bring our food with us. So now we're eating, instead of diesel, we're eating gasoline. This is why when we sit, we can't really communicate because we're not really balanced. Because I'm eating a food that is undermining my thinking pattern. Shut up, boy! 
Can't you see I tell you to shut up? This behavior comes from that. From right this over there. That is unnecessary. You know, I have two groups of children, or three of them. I have children in their 50s. I have children in the 16 years old. So I have a bunch of children. And I noticed that I never had to hit one of them. But boy, they say, don't spare the rod. Where we get that from? That isn't African. That isn't African. That's come from someplace else. You know? So yes, passion fruit is deadly. It's over here. It's, un it's unnatural. You see, we have to begin to research Africa and extrapolate from it the things that we need. And that's what we're going to do with Jamal. We're doing it now. He's bringing you all kind of grains that you didn't know about. He's bringing substance that you should use. And it's good. See, because we're going to begin to heal. We need healing. All of us are sick in here today. Every one of you is sick. And that's including me. And I may be the sickest. I just may be the sickest. But all of us are sick. Why not? Look at what we've been eating. Blood and starch. Now I know that in the audience there are scientists and teachers. But I want you to go and do research. Biochemical research. And find where starch and blood is nutritious. And come back to me. Don't come back with your protein bit. Because that doesn't hold water. Protein has no electricity. And notice carefully. They tell us that the greatest source of protein is a hog. Well, in nature, the more you drink, the more you eat, the better it is for you. Well, in the other world, the inorganic world where you're going to eat a dead animal, you eat that hog, get protein from it, and see how long you will live. 